Where'd your name come from? Uh, my name is actually a spinoff of my first artist name, which was Sniper. You know what I'm saying? That was just a name that we cooked up real quick just so I could start putting a name to my music. But Gunner actually came from my cousin. Out the blue, he just started calling me Gunner. Gunner, what's up? You know what I'm saying? So uh, we felt like that was more marketable, so I just ran with that. Where are you from? The south side of Chicago. What's your opinion of the state of rap music right now in Chicago? Well, you know, minus the violence that's going on, um, <clears throat> I feel like I feel like it's cool that we finally getting our spotlight in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? Because you always hear about the other cities as far as New York, Atlanta, and California. You know, with those artists out there getting their shine. So it's cool that we getting our shine right now. Keith, Keith kicked the door down for us. You know what I'm saying? And the light is it's like the spotlight stand on us now. You know. Give me a tour of the city of Chicago for someone that's never been there before. Start with the food. Favorite food spot in the city? Uh, well, my favorite food spot is Harold's Chicken. You know, and uh, <clears throat> we got Italian Fiesta, we got Giordano's. You know, we got, uh, we, got a, we got a lot of stuff to sightsee downtown. You know, downtown is a beautiful place. We got Lakeshore Drive and then just, just our skyline. We got a unique skyline, and that's why I feel like a lot of people like coming here. You know, we got the Sears Tower, you know, but it's a pretty cool place to be if you if you tour, you know. What do you order at Harold's? Uh, me personally, I get six wings, extra lemon pepper, light hot sauce. <laughs> Let's talk about the nightlife. Uh, favorite strip club in the city? Man, gotta get to Red Diamond. I wouldn't say it's a favorite, but you know that's the only strip club that's really making some noise right now. So you know, shout out to them. Favorite nightclub. Uh, Adriana's got it right now, you know, I say that. I know you mentioned some downtown spots, but um, any other locations you would you would recommend someone visit Chicago? Um, I know you talked about the food, some of the nightlife, anything else? That yeah, like I say, just Lakeshore Drive, period, you know, the beach, you got Lake Michigan right there, and I think uh, right now we got the Taste of Chicago going on or something like that, but uh, I don't go to the Taste no more, you know, Pat, you know, do the past events that happened down there you know people that's from here really don't go there but uh you know it's, it's that's about it you know let's take it back a little bit what type of student were you in school <laughs> well i say i was a not bad but not good you know i was a good student as far as you know work goes you know but i wouldn't say my conduct was the best you know but that 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 got through out the window over the years as I, you know, got closer to graduating high school and stuff. Jobs you had growing up, if any? Uh, well, when I was a shorty, I used to be on the Jesse White Tumbling team, you know, flipping and whatnot. We was getting paid for it, though, so I don't think I was just one of them just out here flipping. We was getting that check. But uh, Jesse White, you know, did park work, you know, slight stuff like that. Any crazy... Um Stories, customer stories, dealing with any of those jobs? Uh, well, you know, I used to work at the RTA Travel Information Center, you know, used to plan bus trips and all that. But just hearing customers missing their bus routes and all that, you know, you got to ignore all that, though. And as far as the tumbling team, I wouldn't say nothing bad about it as far as the audience or whatnot, not unless we gave them a bad show. But for the most part, everything was cool, you know. What's the worst thing you put your parents through? So, having a baby when I was in high school, you know, and uh, you know, probably getting locked up for the little petty stuff that I got locked up for, you know, but everybody put their people through stuff, so, you know. What's your message to the youth? Uh, don't do drugs, stay in school. If you have your mindset on anything, and you focus, you know, work hard and determined to do it and get it then, you know, that's how everything is going to come into play. You know, don't give up on your dreams, man, you know. Let's talk music. What do you hate the most about the music industry? <sighs> I say how <clears throat> people just not 100 with you. You know, everybody say they 100, but it's it's... 
it's somewhat of a facade. You know what I'm saying? People people do stuff for the money and they're smiling in your face. You know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy. Everybody want this life and you know everybody want to be in the industry. But it, but the question is, are you built for it? You know what I'm saying? Because if you sit up and watch these other interviews with the A-list artists that's already in the industry, they talking about it every day. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why some people do decide to go the independent route so they don't have to deal with the BS from the labels and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's a dog. It's a dog. It's a dog eat dog world in that industry, man. Top three things you need in the studio. A producer, an engineer, and equipment. If you don't have neither one of those things, what are you doing? Right. Craziest studio story, if you have one. <clears throat> Man, just <laughs> just being too drunk to record and I done throwing up everywhere and all that. So, you know, supposed to be focused on making music and you sipping, you know. But besides that, I don't really have no crazy studio stories. Most of the time I'm working though. What's the realest shit you ever wrote so far in your whole collection? The realest shit I ever wrote, man. That's a hard question because I like I, I write a lot of a lot of real shit, but I say some uh this 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 shit I just got through working on called young niggas get money, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just something. It's just asking why, like, cause I know the old heads hating on the young niggas that's surpassing their ass now. You know what I'm saying? They hating cause we getting more money than them, and you know the spotlight on us. You know what I'm saying? Not to diss the, the old heads out there, but there's some out there that hate the young niggas that's getting this money. But uh, that was just talking about that and then just talking about real life shit. You know what I'm saying? So I say right now that's some of the realest shit I ever wrote. <clears throat> what are your keys to success? Man, working hard, staying focused. Um, Shit, just tunnel vision, man. Just as long as you got, long as you, long as you got tunnel vision to be successful in what you're trying to do. <clears throat> how can you lose? You know what I'm saying. You got to keep God on your side. You know what I'm saying. And just, and just stay focused, man. Speak the shit to existence. You know what I'm saying. You want to do something, you got to speak it to existence. You're not gonna be talking about some shit that you're not trying to do. So what you got going on right now? Uh, right now, I'm currently working on my second mixtape titled Listen to My Shit 2, which is dropping September 22nd. You know, the first tape I dropped two years ago titled Listen to My Shit, and uh, <clears throat> that's hosted by DJ Hustlenomics. Shout out to him. But um, just working, man, just trying to stay in the studio and stay busy. I just dropped my single titled Flex featuring King Louie. Just dropped that like two or three weeks ago. You could download, listen, share that. That's on my mixtape, SoundCloud, YouTube, all hiphop.com, all that shit. So you can go pick that up, download it, do what you do with it. But it's a hot single, man. Like I say, we just got through shooting a video for it. It's gonna be a crazy video, man. It's gonna be a movie. So be looking for that on World Star and YouTube. But um, <clears throat> but uh, just trying to stay working. Just trying to stay in the studio, man. That's the, that's the only key to this shit. You gotta stay working and determined. So that's what I'm doing, man. Might have a couple more videos coming before I drop the mixtape, but that's just what I'm working on right now. Listen to my shit too. I need that to be like classic, <laughs> straight up.